Hello everybody and welcome to another Swift 3D version 6 tutorial. In this one we're learning how to use the lathe editor. And here's the finished product of what we've created. It's a martini glass with olive and toothpick. Let's export that out and that's what it looks like. Okay, so for all three of these items that we're going to create in our scene here, we're going to use the lathe editor for because that's what we're going to be focusing on. So let's go right into the lathe editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on tangent point instead of the square point or the corner point. I'm going to create the toothpick. So I'm going to make a point there right in the center and then maybe a point right I don't know maybe about right there. And if you get your points off don't even worry about it because you can manipulate them with the mouse. You just highlight that point or not with the mouse but with your keyboard arrow keys or with the mouse you can just drag it out like that but if you want precision you can use your keyboard arrow keys too now I'm going to take this and stretch it out a bit to where it has a slight bump or a slight hump rather not much of one because we don't want it to be too fat what I'm going to do is make it skinnier once I get into the scene editor here. So let's click scene editor. And let's go ahead and go to scale. Let's go ahead and put the radial segments up to 64. That way it'll give you a nicer looking mesh. Now you go up to the scale properties with this item selected in the scene. And now we can adjust the Y and Z factor or rather the X and the Z factor to make it skinnier. Make it as skinny as you want. Now I'm going to go into the material. I'm going to go to bitmap. I'm going to grab this wood right here and I'm going to place it on it. Now I'm going to go into the materials properties. Double click down here where it says ER wood and I'm going to bring the brightness up generate preview gives it a nice tan nice tan wood so you just press OK and there's the toothpick all ready to go now the next thing we'll do is the olive so without this selected if you select that again you go to the lathe editor you'll be able to further edit that but we don't want that we want to deselect it and then go to lathe editor now this time we're going to choose a curve point and you can just grab a sphere if you want but olives aren't exactly perfectly round so I'm just going to use this put point here point here point there now I'm going to go and manipulate those points just like you would a pen tool in your Adobe programs or whatever to make it a little more rounded here so you manipulate these let's get this one manipulate it there that looks good to me. Let's go into scene editor. Great. Let's get that radial segments up to 64 as well. You go into the um, I don't know glossy or flat. I'm gonna go with glossy. I'm gonna try to get an olive color. That looks good to me. Now I'm gonna go to the scale tool, not the scale tool, but the scale mode with that item selected and now I can just drag it to be just the size I want it to be right on the end of that toothpick so with everything deselected in the scene we're going to go back into the lathe editor and now we'll use the corner point so I've used the tangent the curve and the corner point one for each of the objects just to show you how it all works I'm going to start at the bottom we're going to make the base of the martini glass here. Go right about here. One nice thin stem. Right about there. Then I'm going to make a point right about here. Right there. And then right on the green line. I'm going to manipulate this point just a little bit. Bring it closer to that so the brim is not too wide bring this down just a bit and that looks pretty good to me 
Let's bring this in just a little bit. Now let's go to Scene Editor. Let's scale that one a little bit. Right about like that. You can hold Alt and right mouse to drag the scene. You can left mouse to drag it around, right mouse to go in and out. So now for this, I'm going to bring those segments up to 64 as well. And transparent, clear. Now I'm going to take all of those items. Actually, let me grab these two. So let's move that down. I'm just using my mouse keys or my keyboard keys with them selected to move it. I'm going to highlight this one or the toothpick and the olive together by holding shift. And I'll grab both, arrange, group. Now I can rotate those. I'm going to rotate it about like that. Then I can just grab it in the scene, put it wherever I want it there. Let's grab this, bring it up right there. Now I'm going to press Control A to highlight everything in the scene. Arrange, group. Now let's rotate that a bit. And there you go. And there it is. So that's how you use the lathe editor to create most any kind of thing that you might need that would be a simulated machine lathe type object. Okay, so we'll see you in the next lesson.